Hi, I'm Mr. G, and this is a STEM tutorial on the Drew program. If you're not sure how to get to Drew, you can always just go to Google and type in Drew. It'll be one of the first links there. And then we're going to click up here on the right, which says Start Coding. <clears throat> uh, what you have right here in the main section is your code editor, uh, where you can type in uh, your Drew code. We'll do that here in a few minutes. Um, you'll notice there's two tabs, the main method and the Drew methods. We'll talk about Drew methods in a later episode. Over here on the right you can see the map and as I move the mouse around on that you can see the cursor location changing down here to the different spots and the different cells. And uh, if we look across the top here you've got your standard file uh, save and open options. Uh, this is my run menu, the different icons here. Um, we'll be able to deal with that here in a few minutes. The run speed options, it, that'll make sense here when we run our simulation. And then uh, some different options regarding our island file. You can actually have two different files open uh, in Drew. You can have your code file and you can have your island file. And um, the up here in the drop down menu, you have uh, different ways of changing your. Uh, the file saving or opening up new files. Uh, you can edit the source code. Uh, we will go down here to the preferences. That's one of the things. Um, I'm going to change the font size to 24. Uh, you do have different uh, themes available for the, this example. I'm just going to leave it as the default. Uh, but that's there's some fun ones there. And uh, something I also should have mentioned, all down here at the bottom of the code editor you've got the different uh, languages that are available for programming. I'm just going to use Java since that's the default one and that one's set up right there. Uh, the run options, uh, we'll run through this here in a few minutes. Uh, the run speed, this is the same as that uh, slider option. Uh, the island file, if you want to open or save or print your island. And then your island edit. That's actually what we're going to mess with right now. Uh, this is the Jeru island where your Jerus hop around and uh, do different things. It's already got grass everywhere, but if you want to, if you uh, click the water, and then you can uh, start clicking around single click or click and drag for water. Uh, flowers, you can put flowers at different locations, uh, single click or click and drag. Uh, the same thing with nets to try to catch the Jerus or create obstacles. Um, and then you can also change the island size if you were to type that in. Now if I type type some new numbers in, then all that stuff is going to get erased. So I'm not going to mess with that to clear. Uh, the help menu, uh, we've got the language summary. Uh, the important thing to notice up here is that you have uh, different uh, tabs available. Um, the one that we're going to uh, need here in a minute is the methods. We're going to need uh, access to this and then also we're going to have uh, need to mess with this instantiation code here. Uh, all right, if I click back to the other tab, um, there's also the getting started tutorial. Uh, if you're not familiar with what's going on, I recommend to read through that. I'm going to try to just kind of go through all the high points here. Um, but there's that as well. And I think we're ready to uh, just to start a new method here. So I'm going to make sure that I have the main method selected. And then if I click back up on that, uh, uh, the information on the methods, you can see that we have to have method main and then we can have uh, some different code in here. Uh, an open bra parentheses, an open bracket, and then these uh, slashes, those are the comments which tell us what we should do. So I'm actually going to uh, copy that and then go back and uh, paste that code in there. Method main, open paren, close paren, then open squiggle bracket, declare instantiate all Drews, and then use the Drews to solve problems. Um, and uh, I'm wondering what does declare and instantiate mean? So if I go back to that uh, the method I, or the documentation, I can see instantiation uh, you can read through it here. They actually have a nice example, Jeru Kim equals new Jeru. So I'll just uh, select that, copy that, go over here, and paste it in, Jeru Kim equals new Jeru. And I'll go ahead and have Kim do something. If you, um, In a later video we'll talk about all the all the action methods, but in the meantime here are some of the different things that the Jeru can do. We'll just have hop 
seems like a pretty good one. So we'll say Kim dot hop. And uh, great, now I'm ready to run. So when it comes to running, I can run it step by step, line by line, or I can just run it all the way through continuously. I'll go ahead and run it line by line. So the first executable line is this line right here. So you can see that it's highlighted and then it has just executed. And when I did that, it created Kim, which the drew is the, this Kim icon is the uh, blue arrow pointing to the right. Kim has zero seeds. We'll talk about seeds later. <laughs> and then if I execute this next line, then Kim hopped. So you can see that the drew Kim hopped. Now it's right there. That's it. That's the whole code. If I want to uh, reset the program, then I'm back here. There's no Drews that are being shown. And if I hit run continuously, then it will run it through right there. And Kim was instantiated, or well, declared and instantiated, and then Kim hopped. I could do some other things. I could uh, maybe say Kim hop 5, Kim dot turn right. And then Kim dot hop two, and if everything works correctly, we should see Kim get created and hop. All right, that was really kind of fast. So I might turn the run speed down a little bit, and we can see line by line it gets executed. All right, so uh, that's the introduction to Drew. We'll talk uh, in future episodes about um, instantiation and about uh, declaring, action, all those different items, and we'll look at that in the future. Thanks for watching.